In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on another get out of jail cast and it's called the steeple cast. I remember looking at Hugh Falkus's book, Sea Trout Fishing, and he talked about the steeple cast and I just could not understand how it was done. Now I do, and I'm gonna show you. Here I am, tight up against some trees. Now I can't make a back cast, a normal back cast, because it's literally gonna catch that tree right there. So I need to turn my loop vertical, my back cast, I need to make it as vertical as possible. Now that's quite hard to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my rod upside down and facing that way, in the same way that we turned it with a Galway cast. But what I wanna do is draw a line from the rod tip to the sky, okay? Try and draw a line from the rod tip to the sky, like this, turn the rod upside down, draw a line from the rod tip to the sky. And that's gonna create a, a very steep trajectory of our back cast, okay? Now if we add the correct speed lift, it sends our line straight up, okay? So we're not catching those trees. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick the line up and then we're gonna drop the elbow back down again to make our forward cast. Now, you can't make a long distance cast with this. Unless, in my experience, you stood on a bank and you're higher up off the water, then you can make a nice long steeple cast. But kneeling, knee depth, tight up to these trees, you'd be lucky to get a 20 foot cast, 30 foot most. Why? Because you're changing the path of the fly line. And typically, that will create what we call a tailing loop on the forward delivery. If we throw the loop up, dip, and then throw it out again, you're creating this loop that wants to catch under itself on the forward delivery. So you're not gonna be able to make a big cast, but you will get a get out of jail cast like that, steeple cast. 